What happens when a desert kingdom decides to build an outdoor ski resort in mountains that rarely see snow? Saudi Arabia's Trojana project is attempting to answer that question with a $500 billion bet on the future of mountain tourism. Located within the Neom megacity development in northwest Saudi Arabia, Trojana represents one of the most ambitious and controversial ski resort projects ever conceived. Spanning 60 square kilometres across the Sarawat Mountains, this isn't just another ski resort. It's a complete reimagining of what winter sports can look like in the 21st century. Today, we'll explore every aspect of this extraordinary project. We'll examine the resort's planned facilities and terrain, dive into the technical challenges of creating snow in a desert climate, discuss the massive controversies surrounding its development, and compare it to traditional ski resorts around the world. We'll also look at the human and environmental costs that have made this project a lightning rod for international criticism. If you're interested in ski resort development, future tourism trends, or just curious about one of the world's most talked about construction projects, this video will give you the complete picture. And if you find this analysis helpful, please give it a like, leave a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe for more in-depth resort coverage. Trajina is set to become Saudi Arabia's first outdoor ski resort, built into mountains that reach elevations between 1,500 and 2,600 metres above sea level. To put that in perspective, that's comparable to many mid-sized alpine resorts in terms of base elevation. The project will feature approximately 30 kilometres of ski runs. That's about 18 miles of terrain spread across multiple peaks. The resort is designed as more than just a ski destination. The centerpiece is a 2.8 kilometer artificial lake that will host water sports and serve as the focal point for luxury accommodations. Surrounding this lake will be themed areas, including a high altitude ski village, luxury hotels from brands like Four Seasons and Ritz Carlton, wellness centers, and what they're calling the Vault, a vertical village built directly into the mountainside. Construction began in earnest following the project's announcement in March 2022, with Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman setting an ambitious target completion date of 2026. This timeline became even more critical when Saudi Arabia won the bid to host the 2029 Asian Winter Games at Trojana, making it the first Winter Olympic-style event ever held in a desert nation. By 2030, Trojana aims to attract 700,000 visitors annually and house around 7,000 permanent residents. The Saudi government projects the resort will create over 10,000 jobs and contribute approximately $800 million to the country's GDP. Here's where Trojana faces its biggest hurdle, creating reliable snow conditions in a region that receives virtually no natural snowfall. While the elevation provides cooler temperatures than the surrounding desert, with winter nights occasionally dropping below freezing, the climate remains fundamentally arid. The resort will rely almost entirely on artificial snow production, requiring massive infrastructure for water supply and refrigeration. The centerpiece artificial lake will serve as the primary water source, holding an estimated 15 billion gallons supplied through desalination plants. This water will then need to be chilled and distributed across 30 kilometres of slopes using an extensive snowmaking system. Neom claims all energy for this operation will come from renewable sources, primarily solar and wind power. However, the scale of energy required for continuous desalination, refrigeration and snow production in warm conditions is unprecedented in the ski industry. Climate experts have questioned whether current renewable technology can reliably support such energy-intensive operations without fossil fuel backup systems. The project also plans to incorporate dry ski slopes and advanced snow preservation techniques to extend the skiing season and ensure consistent conditions for the Asian Winter Games in 2029. Despite the ambitious vision, Trojana has been mired in serious controversies that have drawn international condemnation. The most damning criticism centers on the treatment of indigenous communities who have lived in the Eniom area for generations. The Huaitat tribe, Bedouin people who have called these mountains home for centuries, have been forcibly relocated to make way for construction. 
Reports indicate over 6,000 people have been displaced, often with inadequate compensation and against their will. The situation turned deadly in April 2020 when Abdul Rahim al Huwaiti, a prominent tribal member who publicly refused to surrender his land, was shot and killed by security forces during a raid. The crackdown intensified from there. Dozens of tribal members were arrested for protesting the displacement. And in 2022, three Huaitat men received death sentences for peacefully resisting eviction through social media posts. These death sentences were upheld on appeal in 2023, prompting UN human rights experts to condemn Saudi Arabia and call for a halt to the executions. Environmental groups have also raised serious concerns about the project's ecological impact. Greenpeace has called Trojana dangerous, warning that constructing a massive resort complex in a pristine mountain ecosystem could trigger unpredictable environmental consequences. The introduction of large-scale water features and artificial climate control in a delicate desert environment risks disrupting local wildlife habitats and altering natural weather patterns. The project's sustainability claims have been met with skepticism from climate experts. Despite promises of carbon neutrality, critics argue that the massive energy requirements for artificial snow production, coupled with the carbon footprint of construction and international tourism, contradict the project's environmental messaging. Financial analysts have also raised questions about Trojina's economic viability. While part of the broader $500 billion NEOM project, internal reports suggest costs are already ballooning well beyond initial estimates. A Wall Street Journal investigation found that Trojana's development costs had surged by over $10 billion beyond projections, putting the project's financial returns into question. The broader ENEOM development has faced significant management challenges, including high executive turnover and reports of workplace culture issues. These problems have raised doubts about whether such an ambitious timeline can be maintained while ensuring quality construction and operations. When compared to established ski destinations worldwide, Trojana presents a stark contrast in almost every metric. Traditional ski resorts benefit from natural snowfall, established transportation infrastructure, and decades of operational refinement. In terms of scale, Trojana's planned 30 kilometers of runs is modest compared to major international resorts. For context, France's Les Trois Vallées offers about 600 kilometers of connected terrain, while even single mountains like Vale or Whistler typically feature over 150 kilometers of runs. Trojana's capacity will be more comparable to smaller European ski stations or beginner-focused mountains. The elevation range of 1,500 to 2,600 metres is respectable, similar to resorts like Courchevel or Aspen. However, elevation alone doesn't guarantee good skiing conditions. Japanese resorts like Niseko, despite lower elevations, receive 10 to 15 metres of natural snow annually, thanks to cold Siberian winds. Utah's Cottonwood Canyon resorts get over 12 metres of snow each season, creating the legendary powder conditions that define world-class skiing. Trojana will essentially flip the traditional snow equation, relying on 75% or more artificial snow coverage where most resorts use snowmaking only to supplement natural snowfall. This raises questions about snow quality and the overall skiing experience compared to destinations blessed with natural powder. Trojana represents Saudi Arabia's broader strategy to diversify its economy away from oil dependence through ambitious tourism projects. The resort is designed to capture wealthy Gulf tourists who currently travel to Europe for ski holidays, while also attracting international visitors seeking unique experiences. The cultural context presents both opportunities and challenges. NEOM is planned as a special economic zone with potentially more liberal policies than the rest of Saudi Arabia, possibly including alcohol service and mixed gender activities. However, the extent of these liberalizations remains unclear, and they could significantly impact the resort's appeal to international tourists accustomed to traditional apres ski culture. Construction is actively underway, with major infrastructure, including access roads and tunnels in progress.
the project faces the immense pressure of delivering a functioning ski resort capable of hosting international winter sports competitions by 2029. Recent reports suggest that while construction continues, the project may face delays and scaling back of some ambitious elements. The focus appears to be on ensuring basic ski facilities are operational for the Asian Winter Games, with more elaborate features potentially coming in later phases. Trojana represents one of the most audacious projects in modern tourism development, an attempt to create alpine recreation in one of the world's most unlikely locations. Whether it succeeds will depend on overcoming unprecedented technical challenges, addressing serious human rights concerns, and proving that artificial snow in the desert can create a compelling ski experience. The project embodies the broader tensions in modern development between technological ambition and environmental responsibility, between economic progress and human rights, between creating something new and respecting what already exists. If completed as planned, Trojana could redefine what's possible in extreme climate tourism. If it fails, it risks becoming a cautionary tale of unchecked ambition and misplaced priorities. What's certain is that Trojana has already changed the conversation about ski resort development and challenged our assumptions about where winter sports can exist in a warming world. What do you think about this project? Do you see it as innovative tourism development or an environmental and social disaster? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this analysis helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe for more in-depth coverage of ski resorts and mountain tourism around the world. Ciao.